How you doing guys? Bottle91E here and uh, I've got a request to show off some of my uh, Disney World pins. Um, if you've never seen a Disney World pin or know what they are, um, pin trading is a huge big thing in the world of Disney uh, or Disney World. And um, what they are these little things right here. Yeah, these little things here, just uh, these gold plated pins. And uh, there's so many of them. Um, around the, you know, just that cover every form of of, um, of character <laughs> in the in the Disney universe, and uh, and there's just so many pins out there that uh, you know people started collecting them, and it's really funny that it grew to be a huge um, uh, you know following. I mean, there's tons of the, er, er, you know, like, I'm not sure if you remember, but some of my um, news things show what. Um, uh, I tell of Disney pin trading nights. They have special nights to, uh, designated to pin trading. Uh, so you know it's a it's a pretty cool thing. You, you can go to uh, you can Google pin trading Disney pin trading and uh, it'll take you to the to the main pin trading website. It shows you all the rules and everything. I really don't pin. I just I really don't trade. I just kind of collect. You know, buy them as I see them. Um, now I don't have too many. Um, I'm not like the biggest baddest pin trader in the world but I do collect some pins and because uh, some of them are cool I like to wear them to work and people uh, especially kids and Disney fans you know they get a kick out of them now uh, these four here I'll show you these these four right here uh, came, uh, came in a set it was it's always customary to buy a um, an original set you know if you want to start pin trading you can go to the pin trading outpost at downtown Disney or any other uh, uh, place and buy a, a pin set they usually run twenty to thirty dollars uh, depending on, on what you get and they usually come with like four pins and uh, a lanyard here I'm, not, I'm just going to kind of drape <laughs> drape it over there you can see that it's a, it's a Disney lanyard, and uh, I got the Pirates of the Caribbean set just to start my start off with, just because I, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, pirates, obviously. And uh, you know, it comes with this lanyard, nice little silk lanyard, and um, that's essentially where you put your pins. You can see all the little. I'm not sure if you can see on here, but you can see the pin holes. Uh, no, you can't see them, but uh, either way, you just put them right on there and just you know let them hang. Uh, so. You know that's pretty cool. That's where you you know really start out with, and uh, these were the first ones that I bought. Uh, right there, these four, just this pin trading thing. So I uh, I started there. Now uh, as time grew, when I started uh, you know collecting more, and I needed more space, so it I got this other second little lanyard because we're working a little red lanyard here. Red's my favorite color, and actually. Uh, Velcros. I'm not sure if you can see. So, you know, it's very easy, very cool, and uh, and to hold them together, I saw this thing at a, at a little gift shop. It's a replica. Well, not, well, not a replica, but a uh, just a little keychain version of the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest Key. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's pretty. Neat. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. Either way, it's heavy. It, it, it holds everything together. I just kind of clip them together with this little thing. You know, that's what it is. But yeah, so now let's. So, so let me get into the individual pins. This might be a two-part sort of thing, just because I have some stories with these pins, and I haven't done a bonus video in a while. So, aside from my pickups videos, either way. So yeah, let's. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is in no particular order. I do not know when I bought these pins, what was first, what was second, what was third. So I'm just going to pick up the nearest ones. Uh, this one right here, going along with the Pirates theme. It's the Flying Dutchman pin. It has the Flying Dutchman right there and the Kraken. The reason why I bought it was this Kraken thing right there. It's the closest thing I want to get to a Kraken pin. Uh, it's one of my favorites, uh, favorite characters from any Disney thing. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I first saw it, loved the giant squids, and uh, was happy to see him bring it back for Pirates. Okay, second one. Uh, this little uh, pin here has, shows um, the a replica 
of the of the statue uh, it's it that is actually kind of an iconic shot taking a picture of the Walt and Mickey holding hands statue uh, with the castle behind it I just thought it was cool it says partners on the bottom I thought it was neat picked it up this is pretty cool um, they had a surplus of, well not really a surplus but they were still selling the Earth Day 2008 um, uh, pins and I, I wear this pretty much every Earth Day. It says reduce, reuse, recycle in the books there. Uh, you know, Jiminy Cricket. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I just decided to pick that up. Any uh, holiday ones I really like. Uh, another pirate one, Pirates of the Caribbean, being one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Got a, this is the uh, At World's End DVD release 2007. Apparently, only a thousand of these were made, or 2,000 were made, and I just happened to pick it up. So whatever. Again, not, I'm not the, you know, the the most hardcore pin collector out there. I just like the way they look and uh, how they feel. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good accessory. This one right here, obviously, just a, a general Disney Hollywood Studios pin. Uh, this was right after the MGM ch name change, so I wanted to get that. I would love an MGM pin, though. I would love an MGM pin. Uh, this one right here, this is Fantasmic. Uh, all these I pretty much bought. Um, uh, one all my I I I guess you could say my trip to um, Hollywood Studios, Fantasmic, uh, just a you know, regular little Fantasmic pin, has Maleficent and Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey fighting the dragon, pretty cool. All right, uh, here's a couple of Star Wars ones. Got the Fat Man here, Boba Fett. This is I, I like this one just because it actually uh, it's cut out, and uh, you know I, I might trade you know some of these. But I would never trade this one because I will not. No, no matter how much anybody gives me for it, I will never trade the Fat Man. I love the, I love Boba Fett. There you go, Nate. Boba Fett. Uh, the second one here is uh, Darth Goofy. Uh, I, th I got I got a kick out of this one. I'm tr not quite sure why Goofy is Darth Goofy. Uh, I guess it's just because he's tall. But um, uh, either way, pretty cool. I, lo I love my Star Wars. Oh, this is pretty cool. Mission Space uh, uh, control room pin. Uh, I went on Mission Space, saw this, and figured, you know, since it's one of my favorite rides down there, I should grab it. And I grabbed it. It's pretty cool. It has a two, kind of a two-layer sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so pretty neat. Ooh, limited edition of 2000, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> Either way. Now this is another one of my favorites. A lot of people get a kick out of this one. This is the uh, this is my Twilight Zone Tower of Terror pen, and I'm not sure if I can do this right. I'm trying to get it right here. Uh, the door opens to reveal Stitch. You know, like he's wreaking havoc. I just think that's pretty neat. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror saw it instantly, wanted it because of Stitch and the fact that the door is open and closed. You know, so pretty neat. 